hello there. Today I'm going to try another new method of paint pouring. Not new for other artists, just new for me. And that is the open cup pour. In this case it is going to be an open plastic container pour. And I've got my canvas which is a 12 inch by 16 inch slightly raised at this end so that it's on a bit of a lean that way. And I'm going to pop my cup in there right now my colours today of course are going to be black, menestrel green, white, Tuscan red, Yellow Deep, Turquoise, and possibly a little gold, but I'm going to wait and see just to decide whether or not I will actually add the gold to it. Now, all the colours except the black have got a little bit of dimethicone added to them. I'm going to start by pouring the black in. Before I go any further, sorry, I meant to say my canvas I have already coated in black, just a light coat of black to help the paint to move. Some white. Now I'm going to torch it a little. more black. Love watching the Dimethicone doing its job through the back black, it's so pretty. Right, I might just leave the black this time and just go for the rest of the colours. I'm not going to add any more, I think, for a little while now. I'll just give this a lift. Again, let some of that paint through. Another torch. It's starting to travel down now, although it's traveling slightly in a in the a, an opposite direction to what I was hoping. I'll just see if I can send it back this way a little. Okay. And lift it up again. I have to say, for my first time of doing an open cut pour, so far it's looking good. 
I just don't know how much more it's going to do. I might see if it will travel any further down just by giving the canvas a bit of a lift. I don't want to lose too much of the pattern. It's so pretty. So I want to do this very, very carefully and slowly. And when I get down near this end, I am going to stop and send it back the other way. So I'll pull my little cup out from underneath. There we are. Okay. And send it back the other way. Ah, before I do, just lift this a little. Right, give it a bit more of a torch. sure what to do now I want to take that off and but I will want the center to try and hold its own so I'm just going to do that now and see what happens just by removing this completely I'll get a plastic to put it onto a plastic sleeve Loving those colours and I think I'll take it now down this way. There's so much paint on there I know that I have to thin it out. I don't want to lose that pattern. That's going to be the whole thing for me is how much of this pattern I can actually keep. So I'll start by, actually I'll start by taking it down this way. I want to have that down here. So if I start by going this way first and then bringing it back down, hopefully I won't lose too much pattern. I really don't want to take any more off because I've already lost some of the pattern that looked so good and I have no doubt as the dimethicone continues to work on those cells that I will end up with different and more cells coming out. So I thought I'd just put the camera back on because I am going to continue to go over the edges. I hate doing this because I love the pattern but I'm going to take it over the edge and I've decided because of the very large cells there I'm going to start by bringing it this way and then finish by taking it down that way. There's just too much paint on here for me not to do this. There we go. Now that, of course, is a completely different picture to what I started with earlier. To me now, it has gone from being a meteor shower to a butter large butterfly's wing. <sighs> so that has been interesting. I certainly um, would have to experiment quite a bit to get the um, galaxy type open cup pour that I was trying for but I am going to give it another torch one more and that will do for that what my next thing of course is what I usually love to do and that is to move the picture and see what I've got in the way of drippings to dip my cabochons in Wow, 
wow what a difference a torch makes but at least I've got rid of a lot of the bubbles that I had under the surface so um, I'm going to uh, bring the camera down now for a close-up and some snapshots and then I'll be back with my cabochons okay I'm back again with some cabochons and I've brought the camera down closer to the paint itself I've got some lovely colors here absolutely gorgeous colors I'll actually pick the camera up and just glide it down across the colors so that I can show you some of what I've got particularly on the left hand side of the camera which is probably slightly out of range there just gorgeous colors that I can use for my cabochons quite a bit of black but a lot to choose from right so now I have got two small earring size round cabochons which I want to um, coat the backs of because I have put little heart smiley faces on the back of them uh, transfers just the tiny ones so I'm going to see what matching colors I can put on the back of those to make them different the turquoise and black is the prettiest so again I will try over here beautiful just beautiful very pleased with that and see if I can make the second one to match and the second one in the same place no I might actually pop it over here oh wow that's gorgeous just so pretty okay well I've got some gorgeous floral um, cabochons the transfers on them including this beautiful one which I showed in a previous video with the lovely purple flowers on it and a little bit of gold in it as well it's very sweet so I'm going to try a greeny background on that one right down in here That looks beautiful. Oops, I'm sticking my hand in there. I hope you can see that. Just beautiful. That should dry well. And I've got a cute little cartoon dolphin here. Such a sweetie. He's wearing a hat and he looks so cute. So I'm going to pop him into some of the turquoise and black. There we are. That's come out very well. Okay, I will do one more. I have another dolphin with music. I haven't had much luck doing those lately. I've had to wash off some of the paint on the backs of them because the colours haven't been perfect. So I'm going to try again. right that isn't too bad that's come out better than most of my other ones so I hope that dries as good as what it looks now that's all I'm doing for today I've had another lovely afternoon doing my painting and my cabochons and again I want to say thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time